Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And we learned something that is actually not good news for HP. Um, HP, which is the second biggest seller of PCs around the world, well, it seems that it's not really good at fixing its security uh, problems. So a binary report is actually highlighting that there was, of course, Black Hat 2022 that actually happened more than a month ago. And they have discovered several flaws in the firmware or the UEFI software that is in HP computers and a lot of models, actually. Now, what is kind of sad here is that some of these flaws have been left unpatched for months and up to a year in certain cases. This is completely unacceptable that a company that sells PCs leaves open tons of security flaws. So there's um, high severity stack-based buffer overflow, there's a high severity out of bounds write on COM buffer, so you can have a partial bypass of validation. Uh, there's out of bounds write based on direct memory manipulation and the API functionalities, stuff like that. So there's a lot of them. A lot of them are actually scored high from 7.5 to 8.2 in out of 10 in a score of how dangerous it is and how it can be. Um, you know, affected. So um, HP has released some functionality, some fixes lately for some machines, but the problem is there's still a lot to be done, and there's a lot of impacted models that still don't have a fix as of now, which is completely crazy. What is even worse is a lot of business models from the Elite, the ZBook, and the ProBooks, business desktop PCs, uh, like ProDesk, Elite Desk, and Pro One, are also affected by the fact that these PCs still have tons of security flaws in them. It is really unacceptable, and that um, this is something that um, you know companies need to really, really brush up on. We often talk about how companies are careless with our data. Well, this is an example of a company that is careless about security, and that is not a good thing, honestly. So if you are buying HP computers, I don't know, but uh, you better uh, better do your homework and ask, uh, you know, is this okay? Because I've been reading that there's a lot of security problems in some of the, the machines still today, and some, like I said, up to more than a year, which is unacceptable. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.